why do we consider this waking state to be real? This is a common question and not many can accept that the waking state is also another dream. Clarification on this would be nice. Yes, this is a very, very important topic. To understand why we consider this waking state to be real, it would be useful to consider why dream seems to be real so long as we are dreaming. Once we wake up from a dream, we then say, oh, it was just a dream, and we are able to recognize that it was just our own mental fabrication, but all the things we saw and heard and, um, and everything that we experienced in the dream was just a, our own mental fabrication. There was no, the world we were seeing was not existing outside. Um, so if we understand why dream seems to be real, so long as we're dreaming, but ceases to seem real when we cease uh, to dream, that particular dream, that will throw a lot of light on why we take, why our present state seems to be real. What is actually real is only ourself. <coughs> we ourself are the only thing that is real. But when we are dreaming, we experience ourselves as a body in that dream world. Because we experience ourselves as a body and we are seeing the dream world through the five senses of that body, since that body in our experience seems to be ourself, and since we are real, the body seems to be real. That is, we, we can, the one thing we can never doubt or deny the reality of is ourself. Everything that we experience could be just an illusion, but we ourselves must be real. There must be, if, if we didn't exist, we couldn't be aware of anything. So the fact that we are aware means that we do exist. So our awareness is the proof of our existence. So, um, oh, there's one point I will clarify here. That is when Bhagavan talks about real and unreal, there's a very simple definition of what is real. What is real, to be real means to actually exist. So what actually exists is real. What doesn't actually exist, but merely seems to exist, is unreal. So uh, that, is the, that is the sense in which we're using the word real here. So when I say we alone are real, we are the only thing that actually exists. That is according to Bhagavan. And according to our experience, though other things seem to exist, we can doubt whether any of those things actually exist because they, they seem to exist where? They seem to exist in our, in our perception. So that the fact that we see something is not a proof that it exists because we see so many things that don't exist. In dream, we see a whole world that doesn't actually exist. It exists only in our perception, only in our, in our awareness. So, but the one thing, as I say, the one thing that we, whose existence we cannot doubt is our own existence. Because the very fact that we are aware means that we must exist. We couldn't be aware if we didn't exist. So, so our own existence is real. Everything else, the reality of it is in question. But so long as we experience ourselves as a body, because we experience that body as ourself, and because we ourselves are real, that body seems to us to be real. And the body is a part of the world. So if the body is, you, the body cannot be real unless the whole world is real. So, so the fact that we take this body as ourself makes the body appear to be real, seem to be real. And consequently, the whole world seems to be real. So when we are dreaming, we are experiencing ourselves as a body in that dream world. So that body seems to be real, and hence the whole dream world seems to be real. But when we, as soon as we wake up from dream, that means as soon as we leave that dream and come to this state, um, we our identification with that dream body is cut. We, we no longer experience that dream body to be ourselves. So it no longer seems to be real. This is why as soon as we wake up from a dream, 
we immediately able to recognize, oh, it was just a dream. It wasn't real. It was just in my own mind. But so long as we were dreaming, it seemed very real. Sometimes in dream, for example, we experience things and we may think, oh, this is not possible. I can't, we, for example, in dream, we may be flying. Um, and we think to ourselves, no, this, this can't be real because um, uh, this must be just a dream because I can't really fly. But it seems so real, then we think to ourselves, oh, maybe I can fly, but I just wasn't aware of it before. Because it's so easy to fly. And then we think, oh, I hope I don't forget how to fly. Now I'm able to fly, I shouldn't forget this. So it, it, but however improbable the condition, the situation is in dream, and however much we, the thought may occur to us, oh, this is just a dream, but the experience is so real, but it, the, 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 the reality, the seeming reality of the experience over, overrides all our reasoning that this can't be real. And another example, sometimes in dream, we meet friends or relatives who have passed away many years before. And we may be surprised, oh, my father passed away so long before, and here he is, he's talking to me. But it, to us, it seems so real, but that person is there and talking to us. We, we take this to be more real than that memory that the person had passed away. So maybe, maybe it was wrong information, maybe they hadn't passed away, or, or somehow they'd come back to life, somehow. But the, 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 the situation we find ourselves in seems to be so real that it overrides all our reasoning and our memories and our to the contrary. In exactly the same way as the dream appears to be real, so long as we're dreaming, because we experience ourselves as a dream body, so the dream body seems to be real, and hence the whole world seems to be real, and hence even the dead people who've come back to life and we're talking to seem so real, everything seems real, our flying seems to be real, everything seems to be so real while, it, while you're actually experiencing it, but we, we Though we may think to ourselves in a dream, oh, this is just a dream, that mere thought that it's a dream doesn't override the, 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 the clear experience, of, oh, this is real. It, I mean, the experience of what is, is far stronger than any reasoning we may have about it. But however real we take it to be, as soon as we wake up, our identification with the dream body is severed, and immediately we, we recognize without a doubt, oh, it was all just a dream, none of it was real. So we, we, we suppose in a dream, um, a very dear friend pass, has passed away. We may be grieving in the dream. As soon as we wake up, our grief vanishes because we, we reckon, oh, it was only a dream, it wasn't true. Our friend is, uh, hasn't really done. So like that. We, we, it seems so real because of our identification with that body in dream. In exactly the same way, so long as we are in this present state, which according to Bhagavan is just another dream, this seems to be real because now I experience myself as this body. So this body seems to me, I can't doubt the reality of this body because if this body is me, I'm certainly real, so this body must be real. And if this body is real, then this chair I'm sitting on and the table and the computer and the people on the, who are in different parts of the world who are, uh, who, who are having this, uh, joining in this conversation now, all, all seem to be so real, so long as we identify ourselves with the body. So this is, this is why the waking state seems to us to be so real and why it seems difficult for us to, uh, to accept that this is just a dream. But if we consider carefully, though this seems to be re so real now, do we have any evidence that this is anything other than a dream? If we think about it, there is actually no evidence that this is anything other than a dream, because whatever we experience now, we could equally well experience in dream. People say, no, 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 but we have science. Science tells us that the world is 
uh, so many, this earth is so many billions of years old, the universe since the Big Bang, so many billions of years have passed, there are precise measurements and um, so many, there's so much corroborating evidence, so on and so forth. And there's the history books that tell us what happened before we were born. So obviously this world exists independent of our perception of it. All these things we can experience in dream. In, in dream, you can go to a, you can attend a, a lecture or a TED talk about, um, about physics, about astro, about what they call it, um, astrophysics or um, cosmology, the, 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 the theories about the origin of the cosmos, according to modern physics. We can, you can attend a TED talk in your in your dream you can get lots of information about all these things so long as you're dreamy it all seems so real so there's nothing there's no any evidence we try to point out to say that this world is real exists independent of ourselves we can point out exactly the same evidence can be shown in dream but that doesn't mean the dream is real for example if this world is just if the, this present state is just a dream that means when we don't see this, it doesn't exist. So that means when we're dreaming, we're not awake, sorry, when, when we're asleep, when we're in, in deep dreamless sleep, we're not aware of the body, we're not aware of the world, either this body or any dream body, either this world or any dream world. We're not aware of any body or any world at all. But we assume this world exists even when we're not perceiving it. And if someone questions us, we'll say, no, I may not have been perceiving the world, but when I come back to waking state and I ask others, they will tell me, yes, the world existed. We saw your bed, body lying on the bed while you were sleeping. There were so many um, things happening in the day, morning. We can, we can uh, pick up a newspaper or open and turn on the television. We can see the news and we can find out that there was such and such a thing happened in the middle of last night, There's, all this seems to us to be evidence that the world existed when we were uh, asleep. But if you ask anyone in a dream, did this world exist when I was asleep? They will give you, they will give you exactly the same assurance that people in this state will give. If you turn on the, the news, uh, the television, or look in your PC, or open a newspaper in uh, a dream, it will, it will give you the same evidence that you can get now. So we, if we consider it critically, there is nothing about our present state that is evidence, that is adequate evidence, that is true evidence, that this is anything but a dream. If, you, if whatever evidence we may try and point out, we should consider ourselves to ourselves. Can we, could we experience that in dream? Obviously we could, we can experience anything in dream. So there's no evidence that this is anything other than a dream. So in the absence of any evidence, should we believe something? <laughs> Obviously not. Then people say, oh, but you, if you believe that this is a dream, why shouldn't I believe that it's not a dream? Isn't that equally reasonable? No, it is not. Because if you say this is a dream, you are saying this has no, there's no world existing outside the mind. There's no world that exists independent of your perception of it. So you're, by saying this is a dream, you are not making any claims uh, that are not reasonable. Yes, the world may not exist, but I see it. Exactly the same in dream. The world doesn't ex we see in a dream doesn't exist, but we see it. So. All we can say about this world is that it, uh, it seems to exist. We cannot say that it actually exists. But if we say this is not a dream, this is some state superior to a dream, this is more real than a dream, because this world exists even when I don't see it, we are then making a claim for which we have no evidence. There, there is no more evidence that this world exists when we don't see it, then the dream world exists when we don't see it. As soon as we wake up from a dream, we recognize, oh, it was just a dream. That world had no existence independent of my perception of it. We don't, if we met a friend in our dream last night, we don't go meet the friend and say, oh, that was a very nice conversation we had in my dream. Did you enjoy that conversation? No, we, we know that the friend we saw in our dream 
it was just in our own mind that we were having that uh, conversation with a friend. That friend, that friend wouldn't have experienced what we experienced. So when we, when we think of it critically, there's, there's no evidence that this is anything but a dream. And if we claim this is something more than a dream, we are claiming that things exist for which we have no evidence. If we say this world exists independent of our perception of it, where is the evidence? We, the, the only evidence we have that this world exists is our perception of it. But our perception of it doesn't prove that it exists. All our perception proves is that to us it seems to exist. <laughs> 